Yo, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? Uh, today we got I investigated the most violent city in America. As usual, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the fam, and yeah, let's get it. People crazy out here right now. Johnny got shot multiple times, man. It's dangerous out here. You guys are strapped? Yeah. What the hell? How old are you? I'm 13. This is Memphis, the most violent city in America. This graph shows the violent crime trend in Memphis dating back nearly 40 years. The last few years have been the most violent in the city's history. Crazy. You want any drugs today? Yeah. I got shot. Why am I? Oh, I got shot. Oh, my. Uh, I didn't expect that uh, so many people to get shot. They got shot in front of me. That funny. Funny? You could just walk over to the snow, come out, mama. you get hit, you did. While violent crime in America Crazy. decreased 6%, Memphis's violent crimes rose 7%, robberies rose 20%. Rapes rose 41% and murders rose 34%, breaking Memphis's own what? homicide record again. But why is Memphis? Bro, I never, like, I knew people always say, like, Memphis is bad, but I never knew it was, like, this bad. God damn, what? Memphis becoming more violent despite violence in America trending down. And what can be done to fix it? First, I want to see if everyday people in Memphis feel safe on a day to day basis. Does shit go down at night here? Daytime too. Daytime too? The city is safer and dangerous as you make it. What do you mean? I mean? You don't go where you don't belong. You know? We're trying to ask some families out here, basically, if they feel safe out here in downtown Memphis. Most times, kind of sort of. No, I'm just saying I don't go places I got no business being. You don't belong in downtown Memphis? Well, I didn't say that. I'm here, aren't I? So anyone should be fine right here, yeah? That would be my expectation. You at I mean, downtown? Statistically, <laughs> apparently not the case. Yeah, I mean, around certain areas, like, we, we try to avoid, I guess, downtown? Oh, this place is a sh what are your thoughts? Uh, I'm carrying a gun, so if that does you anything. Worry. This kind of fear-mongering stuff, it's no good for people. What if it's statistically corroborated, though? Really bullshit. What do you mean? That? I'm Dad. talking about statistics. It's my first time. Dad. Information from a buddy of mine kind of said, hey, stay here, don't stay here, kind of thing. Are you strapped right now? Uh, it's in the car. You did say to come strapped. <laughs> yeah, that's an important detail. Honest what? answer. Do you feel safe here? Memphis? It's okay. It's okay? Are you, do you guys feel safe in Memphis? No. <laughs> no? Are you just going to go downtown tonight? I'm not tonight. I try to avoid sundown. That's crazy, bro. It depends bro. on where you go. Okay. Downtown? Yeah, it's pretty safe working yeah? downtown. Yeah. What about right here? Yeah, it's pretty safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Statistics are bullshit. There's lies, damn lies, and statistics, brother. We could get easy. I wonder why this is so bad though. Like, like, what's wrong? Like, is it like the people in the office? Is the people like not doing enough for the community, or is it like I want to know? Like, what's what's going on that it's increasing like so like dramatically in such a short period of time? With with all the fear mongering. How is that fear mongering? It's very simple. You're asking me about murders, and if I feel I mean, safe, not a short you feel safe. Yeah. I do. I told you, I absolutely. Yeah, but then I walked away, and you said to me. The same as you make is, is, is as safe or as dangerous sure. as you make it. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. Stay safe. Well, he brings up a good point. Who do these statistics actually affect? Are everyday people seeing these crimes happen around them? Okay. Besides hearing from the news and social media, have you ever seen anything? Mm, yes. <laughs> I did see someone get shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty chill. Yeah, very yeah. chill. This Matt creeps out. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of fucked up shit going on. I don't think that was the answer he was expecting. <laughs> To be honest, <laughs> she was like, "Yeah, I see someone got shot." <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pretty it's chill. Very yeah, very safe. This Mac creep cuts in the next clip. <laughs> Here, yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fucked up shit going on, but it's what you make it like everything in life. It's Matt Show here. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, man. There, ah, there's a lot of friction associated with the discussion of this may in fact be the most violent city in America right now, statistically. Violent city? It's the aggravated Absolutely assault capital. I, I, I can honestly tell you, Memphis. Per capita. Nah. Oh, yo. Quest for it. Yeah, this is a sick car. Do you get spooked driving this and be like, damn, I hope someone doesn't hit the car? No, I don't I see it. Really? No. Nah. White people, white people live their life like, I hope something don't happen. Like, I, I live my life like I wish something happened to me. White people live a life of fear and then- You scared. The first thing you asked me was a scary question. You think that's a white, black specific thing? Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Because you came out here and interviewed asking about crime. Well, that's kind of the topic of the, the concept here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Like, like, like- But uh, do you think that's really a white, black specific? I, I think that's 
probably not true, right? No, I think it's totally true because you can walk down. It's police everywhere. You can walk down Bill Street. You can do anything and everything. Okay. So, yeah. Do you think Memphis is more or less dangerous than other cities you've been to in the U.S.? It, it, it depends if you believe everything you read, doesn't it? So, I, I, I don't Yeah, I think a lot of this, like, headlines and a lot of articles and whatnot is, like, blown out of proportion just because it's going to get more attention and more clicks and views, which, you know, going to generate more, like, revenue and whatnot, which didn't, you know which is the main goal so yeah don't believe every single thing you read especially if you don't read like the fine prints if you're just gonna read it the headlines and then just like don't look into it and do your own research then don't even bother bro <laughs> I don't believe in absolutes, if that, if that makes sense I hope because that. a whole lot of those numbers is rounded up anyways <laughs> um there are wonderful people in every every sort of community but you know the reality this is this is clearly a a city that has some challenges. Um, no, I think I think when white people feel like black people around, it's gonna be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? If you were, it was in Austin, Texas, I you feel wouldn't that. ask that question. Uh, what if the crime rates were the same here? You know what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is like it's this dangerous white city. Like, um, oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, like um, I think that's yeah, interesting. I correlated like every pro every. What I'm basically saying, every city has their problems. Memphis has a problem with crime and everything and shooting and everything, but like other city has a problem with drug problems and everything. It seems like we're all limited to our observations and experiences on how we view these places absolutely you see that guy in the, in the uh the ca like he i get where he's coming from but like bro that's not how you address the problem it just like you can't be like okay well i mean other cds doing it so just like you know you can't you know you have to take accountability bro and focus on what you got going on in your city bro don't worry about what other city got going on you feel me like yeah. <laughs> well, we've all seen the statistics. I wanted to explore the heart of Memphis myself and see what was going on for reals. All right, we are in South Memphis. We've entered the hood. Look at that. He's dusting out. He's tweaking out. On top of violence, Memphis also ranks number one when it comes to car related fatalities. Memphis sits at the top of a not so illustrious list most dangerous city in America for drivers. One out of every five deadly crashes in Memphis is caused by speeding. No other city even come close to that statistic. Okay, so basically, if you want to shorten your lifespan, if, if you want to shorten, like, your lifespan just, just move to uh, Memphis. You feel me? If you're not gonna get shot, you trust me, you're just gonna die in a car accident. It's either or. Is you gonna get shot or car accident? That's what it seems like. You're never gonna live to see like you know past an old age. No, <laughs> you just yeah. Like what the hell, bro? There are some shitty drivers out here. I gotta say, we've seen a uniquely disproportionate amount of effed up vehicles on the side. Like, how can you have bad drivers and fucking violence, bro? You have to pick a struggle. You can't have two, bro. Of the that road, is so bad. Relative to the amount of cars, and right across the street, I spotted a car that had just crashed. And close by, there were three shystied up kids who looked like they should be in school right now. What happened? Hit the pole. They hit the pole. They, hit the pole. they, missed they just hit the pole? No, they literally just hit the ball. Yeah. So this is something you guys see on a daily basis or what? Yeah, basically. Do we need to check up on the person in there? Hold there on. There ain't nobody in there. Oh, there's nobody in there. Oh, okay. Okay, so I've noticed also everyone in Memphis is a terrible driver. I gotta put that yeah, out there. No. I see you guys right outside the gas station, the shiesty up. What are you guys up to right now? I'm not a fed. We finna go do some. What do you mean? <laughs> I can't tell you that. You, you got a wire on. <laughs> I've heard a lot of the youth are up to no good out here. Is that true? No, sir. <laughs> Most of them. Like, it's some bitch ass niggas behind Savage Stop Station. Yeah? What do you mean? Oh, bro. <laughs> they, they some hoes. Are you guys trapped? Can't let you know that. Is it pretty common for guys your age to be strapped? How about that? We yeah. take that question, yeah? yeah we can blur yeah. all the faces. We can blur your eyes even. How about that? All right, send them, send them. Yeah. You guys are strapped? Yeah. Legit. Yeah. You guys actually have a piece on you. How old are you? I'm 13. 13? I'm going to be 14. 14. Okay. Bro, they're not even in school. They're on the block chilling, bro. That shit is so Man, sad. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't Damn. know if I believe you guys are strapped, but That's I'm just going to decide to believe you. Woo! Okay. Wow. Okay, that is crazy. All right, that's all I need to see. We don't need to see anymore. Have you guys had friends die out here? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. Plenty of folks. Yeah. Well, I could think I shot him in the chest, but they really think I shot him. So. They think you killed your cousin? Yeah. What's the craziest thing you've seen out here? Somebody got shot in front of me. Somebody got shot in front of you? Yeah, that's funny. Funny? How he died. This day another interview. Hey, 
Thanks for your time, man. Be safe, man. all right? With prepubescent 13-year-old squeakers rolling around with shysties and guns outside of a gas station during school hours, it's no surprise violence is so frequent out here. Also, apparently I spend over $400 a month on energy drinks at gas stations. I only know this because the sponsor of this video, Rocket Money, that keeps track of how... All right, back to Memphis. Well, well yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Okay. Why well, you carry two guns on Hell yeah. <laughs> Where can you get rid of all the dumbasses, better than me? There, you heard it. A lot of killing. People get killed every day. You can't walk out the door. Is it amongst the younger or older generation you've seen this? Well, the younger generation. Your parents ain't raising them right. Yeah, because they're, they're not in got, school and shit. Down in the fucking dumb, block. Bro. Gas People station. Not something to the Lord like they should. People are not spiritual like they used to be. Parents have responsibility. It's just not love in the schools like it used to be, you know. The young generation doesn't like the older generation. What's the biggest difference you've noticed? Like I said, the crime rate. And you got a lot to do with the upbringing. I do not feel safe. Mm -hmm. I feel that the, actually the police fo forces is against us and so are the criminals. We're not allowed to park here. We get ticketed. If we park across the street, our, our windows get bashed in. I used to love Memphis, but I don't go out at night anymore. Uh, we can't protect ourselves because it's just uh, there's a narrative there that I'd rather not say. It's racial Damn. tension involved racial, in the enforcement of law. narrative because yeah. the kids are they're out running wild, trying to find guns, and their solution to everything is shooting people. When did you notice that shift? in conflict resolution or lack thereof. It was definitely during COVID and Black Lives Matter came in. It was a new Did you guys say what I just, wait. Racial tension involved racial, in the enforcement it's of- It's just, uh, there's a narrative there that I'd rather not say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really, sir? So you think it's only us that are here to in a booty and all? Okay. Mm-hmm. Racial tension involved racial, in the enforcement of law. Narrative because yeah. the kids are they're out running wild, trying to find guns, and their solution to everything is shooting people. When did you notice that shift in conflict resolution or lack thereof? It was definitely during COVID and Black Lives Matter came in. It was a narrative of racism. All all white people are oh, racist. Nah, and, bro. You know, that's not true. Have you been called a racist out here? Four times in one month. What is the future? Yeah, um, didn't you 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 have need or something? You forgot what you said? Like like <laughs> Nigga, what? You are, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? What does Memphis look like? To be honest, I'm not sure. I mean, hopefully if they can find some kind of resolution for these kids. And I don't know if they have to hold the parents accountable. I hate the fact that, that it is a, a, a racially, uh, you know, there's racial tension here. And I, I live above a bar and I hear gunshots all the time. And the cars are, are doing the you know, Tokyo drifts in the middle of the <laughs> Tokyo drifts. Madison. People are people yeah. and 80% of the population just sucks, no matter where you come from. Is Memphis dangerous? Yeah, hey, yeah, you must stay for her. Nope. Ah, oh, my, you in the wrong part of town. Yeah. I clearly did not belong out here. So I met up with local Facts. rapper and entrepreneur Kenny Kane. Hey, there he is. How you doing? Bro, see, I I understand, right? You doing this the content for YouTube, right? Don't be going to no random rapper and hopping in cars doing interviews. Don't be doing that, bro. You're going to get up in the wrong situation in the wrong time. You don't know who who's beefing with who bro don't be hopping in just anyone whip to do an interview like what are you tweaking bro like, <laughs> like hey man hell we gonna nah. slap south Memphis, see what they got going on you know we gonna go on lamar you know what i'm saying the whole track with the hoes at you know what i'm saying we just gonna see what's going on okay. man some areas kind of like hot right now we can't go it's like what do you mean hot? Like gun, a lot of gun violence pop, going pop. on. Yeah, a lot of pop, pop, pop. After learning some blocks we were going to go check out were unexpectedly hot, we pulled up to one of Kenny's safe houses to learn a little more about how it was to live in Memphis. You ever been blipped? Yeah. Actually, holy oh, shit. When yeah. did that happen? This happened like, oh, come probably on. like about 2004, 2005. Whoa. Yeah. With a switcher? Nah. That was before switchers. That was before switchers. Holy smokes. You almost died, I imagine. I did. I almost for sure. My large and small intestines got hit, so I couldn't Whoa. eat. They wouldn't let me eat. They had me on fluids for like two weeks. Yeah. Every person need to stay strapped out here in Memphis to protect I, themselves? Every day. You yeah. got them? Yeah, it's best. I don't, it, even if you don't have a problem. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got to have bro. that pistol on you. Yeah, you got to. It's mandatory. It's mandatory. I can't stress that enough. You know what I'm saying? Do you know many people have been shot out here? That's how yeah, I know a lot of people have been that's shot. That's how whole I be got rolling, killed bro. in my neighborhood. No matter where I go, I have it. Top 24-7, bro. 
up about three months ago. How Florida? Try to rap with Big Moto. You Got know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it go down, bro. Like, it ain't, it, it ain't no game. Do you think the higher profile you get, the more successful you become, the more dangerous it is for you to for operate sure. in public? For sure, for sure. Unless you just one of them person like somebody like Doc. He was more subject to be out in public because he was like such a giving person. You see what I'm saying? People in Memphis, like, if, you, if they don't feel like you giving them nothing or helping them, then it's you, you know what I'm saying? See, I got shot not because I, I had ops. I got shot because I had haters. You see what I'm saying? People was hating on me. They ain't, they ain't like I was getting money. I, I was getting money young. But if you doing too much showing out in Memphis, some shit don't happen. So we headed to Lamar That's anywhere. American Way, a street notorious anywhere. for prostitution. Stay low key. To see if we could chat with the local pimps and prostitutes. They sell a lot of pussy, a lot of drugs. You see these truck drivers? You see all these 18 wheelers right here? Yep. They buy pussy. That's why they on Lamar, because truck drivers come. Memphis is a distribution hub. So it's a lot of 18 wheelers and truck drivers come through this city. We got a lot of warehouses. So when the truck drivers come to Memphis, they stop on Lamar. They want to buy pussy. If they don't want to buy pussy, they don't stop on Lamar. Do you think there's a chance her pimp Damn. is nearby? He, he probably nearby. Do you think he's violent? I mean, he got to. Re I'm in the car. He don't have to respect the game. Pimps don't get mad at other pimps. You see what I'm saying? Are you a pimp? I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, a jack, I'm a jack of all trades. Okay. I, I ain't say, Pete, they, they doing a YouTube video about the town. They just trying to get some interviews, see what's up. You know what I'm saying? Nigga want to get on there, say how they feel about the town, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Good work, man. That was, yeah. you know how to say it. I would not have been like, excuse me, sir, would you like to yeah, you were... We saw this dude with a gold grill chilling on a rock. And my pimp tire hell? went off the charts. Bro, he, he looked exactly like man. Martin, the pizza guy, the delivery guy. If I have the um, if I find a picture, I'm on post it somewhere on the screen. But he looked just like Martin, bro. <laughs> the, I think they have the, like the same outfit too. Are you looking here? We wanted to say what's up, man. So, are those your are those your ladies right there? Hell nah. What are you up to right now? I'm just standing out here trying to knock, knock me a hoe, though. I'm trying to knock one on. What do you mean you're trying to knock a hoe? Can you explain that to me? Yeah, you know, see, I took it out of jail, so y'all gotta excuse me. You know gotta buy it some. Yeah. Are you pimping? Yeah, I'm some pimping like a motherfucker. Yeah, but he is real out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on down. Here, just man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we don't sell no drugs, man. We ain't doing no pass down some of these motherfucking hoods, man. We How long you been a pimp? Well, you know, I've been doing this since Moby Dick was a goldfish, man. You know, Clifford, <laughs> Clifford was a puppy. You said Clifford was a puppy. <laughs> so you're trying to wave down some truckers who might be in the market for uh, a young lady tonight? Uh, what are you doing? No, what I'm doing, kicking shit, getting some money. How do you like Memphis? Selling right, some good. drugs. Okay. Is it dangerous out here or what? Man, it's good. Very dangerous, <laughs> very dangerous, but you know one thing about to go away. That was kind of pointless. Yeah, I'm gonna let the whole stay dangerous while I stay safe with the bankroll. You ever give up pimping? Nah, I never get it. You know, this is a, a real ball game. Um, do you pull out? Well, you know one thing about it, man. Hey, man, rubbers is not for suckers. <laughs> I like Bro, that. Out of jail, fresh as hell, but I ain't gonna lie. You guys introduced me to these three young ladies right here. We don't know them. Gold tea, gold them. glasses. Oh them. shit. You guys are just chilling here alone with no girls. Get in the way. We trying to get. Yeah, we got trying to give these hoes a chance to advance. They got to turn around and see what they turning down. Also, boom. You think um she got a customer just now? Nah, this one. Uh, this I guess this her pimp or whatever. Ooh. Maybe you know. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing, man. What do you think about Memphis? It's horrible. Horrible. Uh, <laughs> are you? What are you up to today? I'm nothing. Just finding my business. Okay. Are you working right now? I'm definitely. Are you uh, a working lady? Yes, I am a professional working lady, yeah. Okay. How is it working these streets? How's it working these streets? Me. I'm usually not in the streets. I'm a professional, like, so usually I be online. So, yeah. Okay. In the streets, oh, wow. it's, it's very dangerous. <laughs> when you say it's dangerous, are the men out here dangerous? Is it's dangerous, period. Would you like to be interviewed? How about what? We're Before. talking to the realest people we can find out here in Memphis. And I see you're an honest, hard-working man. I'd like to hear your perspective on Memphis. Hey, I'm trying to live, you know? Yeah. And um, But you got to be careful around her. You got to be careful. In what you ways? And, and as far as protecting yourself, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Don't be socializing with each and every one. You so can't do that. me walking around here talking to anyone and everybody, is that a little bit dangerous? Well, it, it would be if it was at night. Do you think that would get snatched? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I think I should go ask yeah. him real quick. What do you think? 
These ladies, how much their price is for now? They gonna run, they ain't gonna tell you that. They gonna run away from you. Let me just go ask real quick. I still wanted to know how much these ladies were charging for the truck drivers who pulled over to buy some coochie. Look, she running out <laughs> Buy some coochie. Like crazy as hell. We finna go over there and try to get these girls' attention to ask what's they price, and he ain't even trying to buy it, man. He window <laughs> shopping, man. She running from you, bro. She window running. shopping is crazy. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm just, my name's Tyler. We're walking around here. We're talking to anyone and everyone. I'm just wondering, I imagine you're working the street, right? No. No? No. If you knew someone who was working the street, how much would they charge for a night? I would know. Just give me a rough estimate. I wouldn't know. What would you guesstimate? I don't know. Ask them. But luckily, I then found yeah, this she... old man who happened <laughs> to know their prices. I mean, some girls 65, some of them 100, some of them, I keep getting up there. What happened to the food? Up to the full, full, the full, forty, full, forty, full, full, forty, full, full, forty, forty, the forty, 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 forty. What happened to that? It went up. Inflation. How do you know Inflation. Those I know that. Are you here to <laughs> buy pussy? No, I'm here to catch a bus. Oh, my bad. I'm 73 years old. I'm on Social Security. I can't buy the. the Cookies they're selling. <laughs> the cookies they're selling. Ask a question. How do I know about these girls? That's right. I pick them up and take them to eat. Cops look at me and say, "What are you?" I said, uh, "They need a, they need to ride to the Rainbow to get a dress, and they need to go to Burger King. I'll buy them a meal." Okay. Why is that? What's the exchange, OG? Cause I mean, I, I know you you seem like a good dude and whatnot. You trying to take them out, whatnot. You taking a bus, so what you taking them out with? You, you taking them along with you on the bus, or like, are you taking the bus? Like, I thought you had a whip. Don't you need a whip to take someone somewhere? So how are you taking anyone anywhere if you're riding the bus? It just ain't adding up. Feel me? Human decency. Cause they're hungry. Meal. Okay. Why is that? Human decency? Because they're hungry. How long have you been here in mm -hmm. Memphis? 55 years. Has it gotten worse or better? Worse, sir. What channel is this? Worse, sir. Uh, YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Okay. Hey, here we go. Hell yeah. Elvis is dead, but the king is alive. The real king is Jesus Christ. How is it being white in Memphis? Bars. Ooh. Real. Don't get me started. Be real. Okay, I, I go into uh, different places in Memphis. Because I'm white, I get put to the back of the line. Uh, a lot of the welfare is set up for uh, other than white people, and that's okay. I'm 73, retired, and I need benefits just like anybody else does, and I'm not getting them, but that's okay. Why do you think that is? I, I, to be honest with me. I'm on YouTube. No, I can't do that. So in a city like Memphis, a little too much honesty might get in you trouble? Come on. Hey, I can't tell the truth here because I, I want to live to, to see the mark. <laughs> you see, you see, you see... <laughs> Why you gotta be all that though? It, it's it's like broke. Like not every. I'm telling you, bro. It's rough out here for us, bro. It's rough, bro. Like like god damn, bro. What if I would just happen to vi be visiting v Memphis? People gonna be looking at me as if I'm like one of them. Like you feel me? It's just because like how I look. You feel me? It's kind of like so fucked up, bro. Hey guys. So like awesome. yeah. And the pimps were pretty friendly. You know what I'm saying? You definitely look like a f fit. <laughs> After seeing a taste of the underground economy here, we headed to Kenny's Barbershop in the South Side, a place where outsiders do not visit. So we're at the barbershop. For sure. We at Burke's Barbershop. Okay. Yeah. And what part of Memphis are we in right now? It's South Memphis. Does it get dicey out here? For real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't from here, you know what I'm saying? Go to Kroger or Walgreens, get your cigarettes <laughs> or something. Go, you know what I'm saying? Go to the big store. You know what I'm saying? Don't go to no corner store. What's going down on the corner store out here? You know what's going on. <laughs> Everything. What are your thoughts on if we interview some people near the uh, corner store? It's your own risk. Yeah, you, think we'll, you think we'll make it out alive or what? No? <laughs> No. Just be cool. Bro, interview some people here. Be prepared to run. Well, I'm here with. <laughs> be prepared to run. You hanging out at the barber shop today? Hey, Bob, what is it? Okay, this is a big town. We just lost our big old town. This could be Bird Town. We just forward up my D. Ah, this one of the ah. This one, this all. All right. How long? Where, where you want me to talk from? We got me. Where you want me to do this? Are you on any drugs today? Yeah. Bro. All 
All right, I'm here with. You came in the barbershop doing this. Oh, nah, uh, yeah. You, is this yeah, a Memphis yeah. classic right here? What is it? Look, this is how you do it. Do also, like real that. quick, is that guy good? Hey, Dero, come here. Come here. Is Dero all good? Yeah, this is my dude, Dero. Where the camera? Right here. Okay. Here go the mic right here, though. Dero, how you doing, man? Yeah. Tell him where we at. Hello, come. We in Sam Memphis, man. All right, we, were ta we, talked, to, we tried to talk to Dero earlier. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you now. Yeah. So, <laughs> What are your thoughts on Memphis? You gotta be on point. You see, I'm looking, I ain't just looking at you, the camera, I'm looking at cause this shit going on. You gotta be aware of your surroundings. Oh, watch out. Nah, I'm booing. But it'll, it'll be like this. Nah, bro, don't even play like that. <laughs> I'm over here like looking like, hey, don't don't play like that, I'm telling you. <laughs> Type shit, for real. You been shot at? I got shot four times. I got shot, my arm, oh, I got Damn. shot. Stomach, side, back. Now you have some paranoia, I imagine, right? Like, it just I don't want to get me, shot. It just made me be like more observant and shit. Is it common for people they're to get shot? They're my boy True right there. <laughs> they're my boy True. What it do? Did I hear what it do? What y'all got going up here with my guy Lil Mike? He's giving us the uh, breakdown on Memphis right now. On Memphis? That's man, right. dangerous, man. Dangerous. Memphis, dangerous. I already got shot multiple times, man. It's dangerous out here. Shot too? Damn. Yeah. Where did you get shot? I got shot in the side, man. You don't see this shit, man? Let me show you something, man. This is uh, unexpected. I didn't expect that so many people to get shot. Did you nearly see die? Yeah, I see you, man, two, three weeks. People get shot out here for no reason? What happened? Crazy. No reason. You can just be out here like we in that shit pop off. People crazy out here right now. I don't know what they put in there, but it's crazy. They put something in the water or something. But why was everyone getting shot out here? He might be on to something. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got to do nothing. You never know. Just, you don't have to do anything to get shot up out here and killed. Hell no. Nah. You can just walk over to the store, come out, motherfucker, get shoot. You get hit, you dead. What do we got here? Put me in the camera. Don't put me in the camera. Uh, <laughs> what do you? Who do we have? Say what's up. Nah, he wanted them. Okay. He wanted them. What do you mean? What's up? I gotta go make a play. Let's run. What are we doing? I gotta go make a play. We're following you. Yeah. yeah. All right. In mid-interview, someone pulled up, causing Kenny to tell us we needed to leave ASAP. See you guys. All right. It's getting a little. Yeah. Hot. It's getting a little hot out here. He said, uh, it's time to get out of here. We've talked to a lot of people. They Shit. made it sound like those guys in the corner were unapproachable. And we probably shouldn't have talked to them, but we did. And my takeaway is we got three people in a row showing me gunshots in their body. Before the invention of switchers, it's safe to say Memphis is no joke. Now, on the bright mm -hmm. side, 100 days into 2024, there were 101 homicides, which is slightly God, less than damn. 109 they had in 2023. However, the police chief Davis says they'll achieve a safer Memphis through... Not so much enforcement, not so much, you know, uh, prosecutions in court, but how do we improve the quality of life in certain neighborhoods that have young people that need other resources that the police department, quite frankly, can't provide for them. This, in addition to one month ago, Mayor Young allegedly the met same up with quote unquote high ranking spin, gang leaders in the spin, city and negotiated repeat. a seven day ceasefire, where allegedly the gangs, in response, asked for this. Gang leaders made a few requests of their own, seeking promises other gangs would also put their guns down and asking the mayor's team for more neighborhood investments and job options for young people. I'll be honest, this sounds like it's completely made up nonsense. And I personally do not believe these Memphis gangs operate in a defined hierarchical structure with one individual leader. It seems like they act in cliques and crews rather than the old school mafia with large corporate-like organized structures. Here's an idea for Memphis. Treat criminals like criminals. Arrest and prosecute. Create an environment where criminal behavior is deterred and punished rather than excused. I think there's hope for Memphis, but change has to happen. A few days after editing this, 18-year-old Jalen, who was charged with felony car theft and unlawful gun possession, was released without bail, and today as I record this, went on to shoot and Damn. kill 26-year-old Memphis police officer Joseph McKinney. A world with laws that are merely suggestions and without enforcement and prosecution is a world with chaos, without order, and mutual human respect. Major shout out to Kenny Kane for showing us around Memphis and keeping us alive. Go subscribe to him on YouTube at Kenny Kane TV and IG on Kenny.Kane. Also, whoever has the most. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and see you for the next one.